Welcome to a new DIY Engineers video. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Coral TPU USB accelerator using Python virtual environments on a Raspberry Pi 5. I'll go over unboxing, setup, and even testing with models for video with my camera, as well as audio processing. What can I say? What can you do? I personally did a video on this showing a Docker install, so it might look familiar if you have watched that one. All right, so here it is, the Coral USB accelerator, Edge TPU processor from Google. Let's go ahead and open it. Cable, actual device, manual. Here you go. So there's the connection. Let's take a look at the cable. USB C connects here. And you have your USB connection on the other side. The Coral USB Accelerator is a TPU coprocessor or Tensum processor unit that you can use with your Raspberry Pi as well as Windows computer or Mac. This TPU can help you run machine learning algorithm faster at 4 trillion operations per second or 4 tops, supports USB 3.0, and supports TensorFlow light models. You can use existing models provided by Coral AI or you can use your own models by converted to TensorFlow Lite. Now make sure to check the models that Coral AI has for us. These include image classification, object detection, semantic segmentation, post estimation, and audio classification. Now let's jump into the Raspberry Pi setup. First we'll open the command terminal and start with step one of the Coral guide. Note that so far I have not connected my Coral TPU to my Raspberry Pi. So we'll run these four commands. I'll start pasting them one by one and running them. So here we're pulling the files. Let's run an update and then we'll go ahead and get a few things installed. With that done, as you can see, the requirements say that we have to run Python versions between 3.6 and 3.9. This is an older version of Python, so most likely you don't have it. Let's check. In my case, I'm running the Python 3.9 version and see that it didn't find it. So I need to go ahead and get a few things installed. I'm going to run update, then upgrade, and then we'll go ahead after this runs and we'll install a few critical packages. After that we'll CD to this folder and we'll pull the Python install files from the official Python website. Then after that we're going to extract the files, CD to the folder we just extracted and we're going to run sudo configure enable optimizations to enable us to configure our Python file and then we'll build Python 3.9 by running the make command. After that, we're going to run the alt install to ensure we install it without overriding the system default Python's package. And then let's verify that we install it. And there you go, we have 3.9. So then let's create our virtual environment and make sure to put the system wide packages. In this case, I'm calling my environment DIY ENG Coral USB. And then we'll use source to get inside that virtual environment. And you'll see that in parentheses, meaning we're in it. Now let's go ahead and ensure that we have Python 3.9 within it. So now let's install the PyCoral library. So we go to step 2b and we copy this section of the code. We'll paste it, we'll run it. Now we're going to install all of the Coral examples from GitHub. They're located at the link above. And as you can see, it has many folders that will be useful to us. Now, I have a project folder, and within this folder, I created one called Coral. So I will navigate to that folder within my terminal. And then we're going to run the git clone command that you can see here under step three. And that will pull all of the required files into that folder that we're currently within the terminal. So now, once that is installed, we're going to do cd into that PyCoral folder. So first you can double click here and you can see there's the folder and it has the files that we saw in GitHub with a bunch of examples we can run. So again, let's CD to that folder and we're there. Let's go ahead and pip install after exiting out of that folder, a NumPy version below two. Let's try to run the example. Actually, let's go to the right folder like we talked about. So I'm in the PyCoral and when I run an example, it says, well, you don't have the required files. That's because if you go to the test data, it's empty. And that's because they want you to run a command to download the latest. 
So you can see here they have this bash examples install requirements as H and that classify pi image simply says that it's going to download only the files needed to run that file. So here we're just downloading a few files as you can see it's four of them. So we're going out to the test data, we have the labels, a few models and a picture of a parent. So now this is the time to connect our curl USB accelerator to our Raspberry Pi. So you can see if we're on the command, that's going to show that there's nothing connected. So plugged up. Now let's go ahead and restart the Raspberry Pi. After restart, we're going to run the same LSUSB command and you can see that the curl is detected. So now let's go back to the virtual environment and the Pi curl folder. And let's run the backsysic example. As you can see, it detected the type of bird as Ara Macau, which is a type of parrot. And you can see if you go to the folder, right, that's what we had. That's the picture of that parrot that we saw earlier. We can actually download more examples. So if you go to the test data, you can see we only had that. But if we run the same command we did before without specifying the code we're trying to run, we can download a bunch of other examples. So I'm going to do that without the code and you can see it's going to start downloading a bunch of stuff. And once it's done, you'll see a bunch of files on that, under that uh, folder called test data, including a different bird. So let's take a look and you can see a bunch and you can see the second file there is that bird BMP. Here's the parrot, and here's that other bird. So now let's rerun the example, but pass the bird file as the input. And we can see that once it runs, it's a black cap chickadee. All right, now let's go ahead and move to running models with live video from a camera. First, we'll need to make sure we have OpenCV and a version of NumPy that are both compatible with Python 3.9. So we're going to have to correct the NumPy installation by uninstalling that and uninstalling OpenCV. And then we're going to go ahead and install NumPy and we're going to use this specific version 1.23.2. Once that's done, we'll install this specific version of OpenCV. Now you need to go to the specific GitHub page and we're going to download this example folder, making sure to download it within the PyCoral folder. So you'll go ahead and copy this link. And we're going to run the git clone command again within the PyCoral folder, git clone, paste the code, hit enter. So once I load it, you will have the example camera folder that you see here, example cameras. And then there's one called OpenCV. We go to the detect.pi code and you will see this. As you can see, there are several defaults for the model, the labels, as well as a default for the camera to be used, camera IDX default to zero. We're going to be running the default model and labels of MobileNet SSD V2 and Coco labels, but my camera is on number eight, so I'm going to have to flag that. So if yours is not zero, make sure to flag the camera as I'm going to do now. So first, I'm going to copy this link to make sure I CD to the correct folder. And then I'm going to run python detect.pi and put the camera flag as number eight, since that's where my USB camera is connected. Again, I'm using a USB camera. So let's run that and we can see that it's detecting a bottle, an apple, and a banana. It's super sure that's a banana because it's like 97% sure. It's 41% it's an apple and 58 to 60 something percent sure it's a bottle. So right now it's pretty stationary. Let's go ahead and move it and see how it does as I move it. It's starting to detect the table as a dining table. That's a table that it's resting on. But you can see it still does a pretty good job at picking up the objects as I move it around. I then made a few edits to the code so that it could print frames per second as we run it. So let's go ahead and test that. As you can see, 
it's running somewhere between around 28 frames per second actually 26 to 28 frames per second and the results about the same regarding the apple the bottle the banana but you can see right frames per second looks smooth and it's detecting pretty consistently similar as before I'll go ahead now and move the camera to see how it does and you can see I mean, it's still detecting as I move it and frames per second is still in the 26 to 28 range um, so it's looking good overall I'm happy with the corals performance for this specific model um, instead of labels make sure to leave a comment with your thoughts on how the model runs for you now as I said the coral TPU also comes with several audio classification models so let's go ahead and take a look at an example for one of those we're gonna run the keyword spotter so we go to the link on github and take a look at what they got right similar to before they have an example folder that we're going to go ahead and download, right? We'll click the code, copy it, and run the same command we talked before. So we're going to do git clone and copy and paste the link. So again, I'm in the PyCoral folder, git clone, and run that. Once downloaded, you should be able to see it. You can see the folder here, Project Keyboard Spotter. Now, back on the Coral website, you can see that all the keywords that this specific model is trained on. This means that whenever I say those words, it will recognize them. So what can I say? Silence, reverse, position zero, channel one, two o'clock, etc. Now, before we start, we'll need to start, install several things. So let's deactivate the virtual environment and let's install all these different uh, required packages. Then we'll go and install this one's app get install port audio 19 dev yes and once that's done we'll go back into the virtual environment and let's run a few pip installs so we'll do pi audio and then we'll do scipy now let's cd to the pi coral folder and CD to the keyword spotter folder and then let's go ahead and run the code with the model v8 so let's test it what can i say what can you do yes no start window start application start game start program start task Launch window, launch game, launch program, exit game, engage, target, switch on, pick up, volume up, volume down, remove, delete, last song, last video, last game, pause song, insert, select, move up, move down, Turn up, turn down, go up, go down, go right, position 2, 4 o'clock, channel 5, position 9, 12 o'clock, position 12, yes, no. This concludes the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.